How about this trumpet? You want to keep that? No way, Jose. Okay. Um, wetsuit. Uh. No, you never did wear that much, did you? Okay. Do you know what? We've put loads of stuff in there, mate. The charity shop is going to love us. There'll be blue bears queuing around the block for that wetsuit. You're right, bro. Um, what about this storybook? <gasps> Bunny! Oh, come on, Nev. Jack and the Beanstalk. When was the last time you read that? Oh. Don't do the sad face. Oh. Don't give me the sad... OK, fine, you win. The box is probably full by now, anyway. <laughs> hey? It's empty. We've been putting stuff in there all morning. <gasps> Magic box! No. I don't think so. Let me try something. <clears throat> OK, Nev. I'm now going to put the scarf in the box. <gasps> scarf? Nice! Well, that's strange. I can feel something on the end of the scarf. <laughs> Almost as if someone's in the box! <laughs> G'day, Nevy, Barney! <laughs> Crazy Keith! I thought as much. Crazy Keith's been stealing our stuff, Nev. Stealing? How dare ya! I just hate to see a good trumpet go to waste. Mate, it's not waste. We're taking it to the charity shop. Yeah, well, I'm a charity. Save the koala. We're an endangered species, buddy. Yeah, even so, you don't need my scarf. Thank you very much. Yeah, but I like it. I haven't got one scarf. scarf. Can you give me the scarf? Oh, oh! And I'll have the rest of the stuff back, please. Thank you. Right, Nev, no more messing about. Let's just get the stuff in the box. What? No, 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 no. Mate, why keep it? You never read it. Magic beans. Now, please. OK, look, how about I read it one last time, especially the part with the magic beans, and then we'll give it away. Yeah, yeah. OK, this used to scare you when you were younger. Are you sure you'll be OK? Can't scare me. All right, then. <clears throat> once upon a time, there was a young boy called Jack. Jack lived with his mother. <laughs> and the giant roared. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or... Oh, come on, Nev, it's only a story. Wait, I know, mate, but it's not real. There's no such thing as evil giants in real life. Absolutely no... Ah! I smell the blood of a little blue bear who left muddy paw prints in my clean hallway. Be he alive. Hello, Mr Barney, sir. I thought you'd be at work. Hi, Mr Prank. No, I took the day off. I've got some clearing out to do. Oh, what an excellent idea. Always a good idea to get rid of the rubbish, you know, throw away the useless stuff you don't need. Did you mention something about muddy paw prints? Did I? Um, no, I don't. Oh, yes, yes. No, don't worry about it, sir. Anyone could have left them. <laughs> Probably did it myself. <laughs> anyway, oh, look at the time. Well, I've got to be off. Thanks for the invite. Goodbye, Mr Barney. Bear. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 I'll see you later. Uh, so, uh, where was I? <gasps> oh, waiting. Ah, yes, right. No such thing as evil giants, no such thing as golden hens, and no such thing as magic beans. Jack and the Beanstalk, goodbye. <gasps> Bonza. Thanks, Banster. Keith. Catch you later. Bring that book back and the rest of our stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Magic beans. Hmm. Magic beans. <laughs> yum, yum. Three, two, one. Magic. Now, please. Hmm. Oops. <gasps> Magic beans. Yeah, yeah. Magic beans. Three, two, one. Magic. Now, please. Hmm, nothing. Hmm. <gasps> Magic beans! Beanie bag! <laughs> Magic bean bag! <laughs> Magic beans! Oh, 
Ah, oh, it's no good, mate. Keith just wouldn't give me the book back. We'll have to just, um... Nev? Nev, where have you gone? Johnny! Nev? I'll get my hands on that bear eventually, bad Nev. Yeah. yeah, and when I do... Oh, there you are, Plank. Lazing about on the floor as usual. One of these days I should actually find you doing some caretaking. But I am. Do you know that these skirting boards have not been painted for over a week? Yeah, but Miss Barber... Caretaker, caretaker, couldn't care less taker. That's what you are, Plank. Yeah. Do you know, sometimes I think we'd be better off employing a peanut to run this place. Oh, hey up, Barbara. Mr Prank. You haven't seen Nev, have you? Has he gone missing? Um, I think he has. Oh, I do hope he isn't lost forever and ever. And ever. Of course not. Uh, we're just searching for him. Uh, won't we, Plank? Will we? Yes. yes. Oh, thanks, Aunt Barbara. That's nice of you. Okay, well, I'll start upstairs. Right. Up we get then, Plank. Nap time's over. Come on. Go. Nip, where are you? Are you in the cell? I'll check Mr. Barney's flat then, shall I? Hmm. Here, Bea. <laughs> Come to Mr. Prank! <laughs> uh, stupid bear. I hope he's gone for good. Make my life a lot easier. <sighs> As if I'm gonna waste my time searching for that blue fur ball. Uh, let those mugs search for him on their own. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, now that's comfortable, yes. Oh, no, a man could get used to this sort of luxury, yes. Oh, yes, this is the life, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Uh, help! I'm sinking! Help! Bandit! Mr Barney! Help! Hang your pants, have been eaten alive. Oh, I better notify Nevy and the Bandster. Nevy! Barney! Emergency! Are you serious? The beanbag has eaten Mr. Prank. Saw it with my own eyes, mate. Sucked him in like a smoothie through a straw. I mean, I know he's an old angry pants, but we still need to rescue him. Well, I better throw him a line then. <laughs> I still can't understand how a full grown man can fit into. Whoa! Whoa, something's pulling on it. Something heavy. He's a Looks like you've caught yourself a caretaker. And I don't want to be around when you land him. Catch you later, Banster. Uh. Nev? Come on. Uh. Prank? Uh. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Quick. Oh. Yeah, come have a sit down. There you go. Nev? Mr. Prank? Well, say something. Love you, Barney. Where am I? I'm sorry, yet. Uh, are you okay? Tip think Stop so. Mr. Prank, are you sure you're all right? Of course I'm all right, Mr. Barney, sir. Very good of you to ask. Nev? Here I am. Okay, something very strange has happened here. Don't worry about me, Mr. Barney, sir. Cup of tea and a sit down, and I'll be as right as rain. Oh, well, better get back to the skirting boards. Who's that handsome fellow with Mr. Barney? Seems familiar somehow. Nev? Is that you? Feel icky. I'm not surprised, mate. It looks like that beanbag's got magic powers. It swapped your body with Mr. Pranks. Confused. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure you are, but don't worry, we, we can work it out. Magic beanbag? No, 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 don't go back in there. We, we don't know what else it might do. I'm sure it'll just wear off sooner or later. Frightened. I know you are, mate, but don't worry. I, I'll look after you. <laughs> love you, Barney. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I love you too, mate. Uh, something's not quite right here. I can't quite put my finger on it, but oh, Bandit, get off me, you stupid muggy! Get off! It's me, Mr. Prank, your master. I said, get off! Anyone would think I was a little blue bear. 
Maybe we should get back to the clearing out. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, Plastic carrots, oh, sauce bottle, oh, um, slipper, oh, don't need that. What about this T-shirt, Nev? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it's hardly going to fit you anymore, mate. You'll have to lose a fair bit of weight. Mundo oh, problemo. No. Oh. Right. Um, come on, let's... Let's get you cleaned up. OK. Oh, what am I going to do with you? I've got to say, Nev, you've taken this very well. Hello, Ducky. Stop it. I mean, I suppose I could get used to it. I mean, you're still the same old Nev underneath, aren't you? Too right, bro. And I suppose you'll change back to normal in time. Anyway, listen, let's get you out of the bath. We'll find out what Crazy Keith's been up to with our charity stuff. Actually, I might need to get a bigger towel. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose I've no other choice than to get on with my painting until this swapsy body thing wears off. Uh, it's actually easier when you're only a foot tall. Neville, is that you? Oh, thank gravy, you're all right. No, it's not actually. Well, aren't you a helpful little doggy? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Now, don't grizzle growl like that. Has that nasty caretaker made you do his jobs for him? What a lazy man he is. Lazy? I think he works very hard oh, as a man. Oh, don't grizzle like that. Well, never like a little chuck drop. Oh, chop drop, you say? Huh. Well, I'm a bit peckish now you come to mention it. All right, that be come. Come on now. Bark like a good dog if you want a chop drop. Do what? If you want a chop drop, you could a bark like a good doggy. Oh, I see. Well, uh, <coughs> woof, woof, woof. <coughs> oh, <coughs> woof, 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 woof. <coughs> Now, can you believe the things people throw away, Doris? This is a perfectly good trumpet. Crazy Keith. Ah, Nevy, is that you? Well, come on down here and say good day to me and Doris. Here I am. It's old angry pants. We're done for. Crazy Keith. Help! Help! Get behind me, Doris. I'll protect you. Crazy Keith, it's me. Huh? Nevy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Doris. The caretaker's eating Nev. <gasps> no, 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 no. Crazy Keith, it's me. Help. It is you. Nevy, you've changed a bit, fella. Angry pants. Bang on, buddy. You've changed into your own worst enemy. Friends? Well, we don't judge by appearances, do we, Doris? Come on, Nevy, let's have some angry pants fun. <laughs> Go for it, Nevy. Shake that booty. Timothy! Ah! <laughs> I have never seen the flat from this angle before. Ooh, there's some interesting stuff up on those shelves. <laughs> Don't think Barney'd mind if I borrowed that radio, do you? <laughs> Groovy! Goodness, <laughs> you do <laughs> like your little chalky drops, don't you, little doggy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Neville, you've eaten them all. Now, it's about time I put you down and I went to see if I can find out where that lazy caretaker's got to. And I'll tell Barney that I found you. Uh, woof! Woof! <sighs> 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 Thank you, Nevy. <sighs> and, uh, ah, what about that dusty old remote control? Groovy! Hey, hello, you two. Barney, 
You got more stuff to clear out. Just as well I got these boxes, eh? You know, I never did know what that remote control was for. Ah, then you won't mind me hanging on to it, will you, Bandstaff? I suppose not. How you doing, Nev? Tip tap a roo. Frank! Yeah. Time for a sharp exit. There you are. Caretaker, caretaker, couldn't care less taker. I found a little Nev Barney, by the way. That caretaker is making that little dog do his work. Oh, oh no, Aunt Barbara, you don't understand. Oh, yes, I do understand, you silly boy. Well, what have you got to say for yourself, Plank? <laughs> oh, so that is the respect you have for a lady just over, well, early twenties. Uh, I should be letting my brother Rupert know about this. And I shouldn't be surprised if he doesn't give you the sack. <laughs> You don't want to be responsible for Mr. Prank getting the sack, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Just say you're sorry to Aunt Barb. Mm, sorry. Too late. I'm going to write to my brother, Rupert. Brace yourself, Plank, to get fired! Wow. She really is hard on poor old Mr. Prank, isn't she? Poor angry pants. It's no wonder he's so miserable all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. I'm going to go and have a word with her, OK? See if I can stop her from writing that letter. And you can carry on painting the skirting boards. All right, mate? OK, Barney. No, it's a bad face. No, no. I can't believe this stupid bear spell hasn't worn off. On such a sunny day, uh, I could be selling hundreds of ice creams out of my van a day and making some real money for once. <laughs> Hang on. So what if I am a bear? I can still sell ice cream. In fact, being a bear, I can even get away with it without that old bat Miss Barber spotting me at it when I should be caretaking. <laughs> yes, maybe things ain't so bad after all. <laughs> Sell some ice cream. <laughs> oh, what do you want? Ice cream cornet? Yes, please. Right, coming up. Oh. There you go, kid. Two pound fifty. <laughs> oh. oi, oi! Where's my money? Come back here, you thieving rascal! <laughs> This is getting ridiculous now. How's a man supposed to run a business when he's a one-foot-tall blue bear who's allergic to himself? <laughs> right, that's it. I'm going to find that bear, I mean me, and get this swap sorted once and for all. There you are. Look at that mess you made of my lovely floor. I've had enough of this business. You and me are getting back inside that cranky bean bag. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, sir. Come here. Run! Come here, bear. Don't touch me. Get off me, you stupid cat. Didn't I tell you this before? I am Mr. Prank, your master. That handsome creature over there is the bear. Got it? Now get him. Run! Come here, bear. No way, Jose. Now let's get this magic reversed. <laughs> okay, Nev, so I've spoken to Aunt Barbara and Nev. Bunny! Come here, bear! Oh no, Nev, what are you doing in the bean bag? I thought we said it was dangerous. Anything might happen in there. Bunny! 
Problem, Banston? You could say that, Keith. Yeah, I need to get Nev out of the beanbag quickly. Have you seen my scarf? Ah, you don't need a scarf, mate. That's not how the beanbag works. What do you mean, how it works? It's a magic beanbag. <laughs> no, it's not. You just have to use the remote control. There's a remote control. For the beanbag? Yeah. <laughs> it's the one I found on your shelf earlier. It's amazing what that beanbag can do. Travel through time, make people invisible. I thought it was just for sitting on. Ah, you thought wrong, mate. All right, then, well, which button is it? The one that says put people back in the right bodies. I guess that's what's happened to Nev and Angry Pants. OK, well, that'll be that one there. And eject. <laughs> Nev, Mr Frank, are you OK? Love you, Barney. Yay! Hey, welcome back, mate. Not that you really went anywhere, but you know what I mean. It's good to have things back to normal. Too right, bro. Oh, and Mr. Prank, I'm sorry about the mess that we made of the painting. We were only trying to help. Oh, and I've spoken to Aunt Barbara, and I've managed to convince her not to send the letter to Uncle Rupert just yet. Oh, uh, thanks for that, Mr. Barney, sir. As long as everything's back to normal. <laughs> Come on, Bandit, let's go home. <laughs> Sleepy Bear. I'm not surprised, mate. What a day. Too right, bro. Still, I'm glad we managed to get Mr Prank and Bandit back into the right bodies. Well, after we managed to coax Mr Prank down from that tree, of course. Angry <laughs> <sighs> cat. Hey, do you know what? I think Keith might be right about throwing stuff away. I'm glad he did hold on to that remote control. Aye, aye, Captain. And speaking of holding on to things, I've got something for you. Jack and the Beanstalk. Fancy a bedtime story? <laughs> <laughs> My family are explorers. We have been for generations. We know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. And this could be the key to the sunken world. We believe these myths are returning. Secrets are rising. My family are explorers. And we explore the deep. Dive into a brand new show, The Deep. Tomorrow at 6 on CBBC. Thank you.